Hi, I'm Dr. Leslie Gray with Dermatology Center of Atlanta. And you know, as dermatologists, we are often asked about these lumps and bumps that kind of pop up on uh, our patients. Sometimes it feels like overnight. And so I thought it'd be fun to kind of go over some of the more common things we see and help you determine if these are cosmetic or cause for concern. So we're gonna jump right in with our first little skin lesions. And these spots over here, um, I think most of you will know what these are. And these are skin tags, also known as acrocordons. And these are commonly found in creases like the neck or under the arms, um, under the, uh, in the bra strap area, sometimes even the eyelids. And they are just flesh colored little bumps. They sometimes have a tiny little thin stalk. They are cosmetic. They are not cause for concern, although they can become a nuisance. Um, we Very easy to treat in the office. We just gently snip those off um, so we can take care of them if you either don't like the way they look or if they are a nuisance to you. These next lesions are spots that you might recognize as well and also can come up on the eyelid if you notice that lesion is a little bit more, um, we call it filiform, have little finger-like projections. Some of the other spots that you are seeing um, are kind of bigger and warty looking and they are, of course, warts. And warts are really, um, they can be cosmetic, of course, and they not really cause for concern, maybe borderline, only because they are caused by a virus, so they can multiply, and that can be annoying when you have multiple lesions of them, or if you have children that have warts and they start spreading them to each other. So I do recommend, if you have a wart, that you do get it treated. We, of course, can keep, treat those warts here in the office. We have several different modalities that we use to treat, from um, freezing them to um, some different topical treatments that are um, a little bit stronger than what you can get over the counter. You certainly can also try the over-the-counter remedies and if you are going to try that at home I do recommend you be very consistent with it. Warts can be stubborn and take a little bit of time to treat so um, you just got to keep at it. These warty looking growths are warty looking growths too. They can be flesh colored, they can be dark, you will see more of these as you grow up, and these lesions are called seborrheic keratoses. Um, I call them wisdom spots, again, because you do see more of them as you grow up. You see them um, so often on the face or the trunk, uh, sometimes just single or sometimes multiple. The tendency to make them tends to run in families, so if you look at your mom or grandma, see a bunch of these popping up, that's why you have them. These are cosmetic. They. Um, really don't have any don't any cancerous or precancerous potential but they can be a nuisance if they come up in a spot that is more sensitive they're really easy to treat in the office we usually freeze them off um, pretty in, very inexpensive to treat as well so if you don't like them and you notice some of these popping up just let us know next spot that we see here are very dark and very irregular, and these are very much cause for concern. These are examples of melanomas. And melanomas are the most serious type of skin cancer. Um, they tend to arise on sun-exposed skin, although you can see them um, also uh, on the soles of the feet, even uh, inside the mouth, even in the eye. Um, normally with melanomas, they arise from a mole or they can just start on their own. And we often talk about the A, B, C, D, E's of melanomas. So the A is for asymmetry. If you notice a mole, one half doesn't look like the other. Um, the B stands for border. Um, usually they'll have an irregular border. The C is for color because melanomas typically have more than one color. Um, a lot of times they just, they're very, sometimes very dark with maybe lighter colors, maybe even some red in there. Um, the D is for diameter, so usually more than five millimeters or bigger than a pencil head eraser. And the E is for evolving, so um, these do tend to evolve or change over time, as do most skin cancers in general, because all cancers, no matter what it is, are cells of unrestricted growth. So by definition, they should be changing over time. So if you see one of these, these are cause for concern. You see something that looks like it, you're not sure, please come in and have those checked as soon as possible, okay? Next, I have these, and this is just an example of some normal moles. And normal moles will come up as we also grow up. The number of moles per year your body spits out actually peaks around between the ages of 30 and 40. 
Moles can be flesh colored, they can be flat and dark, or they can be raised up as well. Um, they are usually not cause for concern, but they can be cosmetic if they are um, come up in unsightly areas. If you have a mole that you just don't like the way it looks, again, very easy for us to take care of that for you. A lot of times it's just a simple in-office procedure that, uh, again, not very expensive um, and pretty easy to treat. So if you're not sure and you want a mole evaluated, we're happy to do that for you as well. This next lesion, is looks can look like a mole but if you notice and look closely it is a little what we call pearly there's a little blood vessels in there and they've got this little distinctive rolled border um, this is a basal cell carcinoma or these are basal cells and they are cause for concern basal cell carcinomas are the most common type of skin cancer frequently um, we see them on sun exposed skin so the face the arms um, and they like we talked about before cells of unrestricted growth they grow but they grow really slowly um, usually eventually they start to bleed really easily like maybe if someone's on your face you wash your face and you just notice it's bleeding but it recurs um, anything that looks suspicious like this definitely it is something that you do want to get checked as soon as possible again very slow growing very different than a melanoma but still a skin cancer so you'd want to get it checked and lastly we have these lesions here so um, these are cosmetic and they um, I've got two different examples of two different ones that we see a lot of one is these um, little spots called milia, which are the little whitehead type of lesions. Um, sometimes people will get them singly, but you can sometimes get a bunch of them. They're just more of a cosmetic nuisance. There are things that you can try and do over the counter, such as salicylic acid cleansers or even um, retinols or there's different gel is now over the counter sometimes can help with those. Um, we actually do some acne facials to help with extractions if you want to do something in office to get rid of them a little more quickly. Um, and we can always see and evaluate it if there's more going on. So again, you can make an appointment with us to get them evaluated. Um, and lastly, we have the sebaceous hyperplasia. These can look a little... Um, little pebbly or bumpy spots that will pop up in oil producing areas so sebaceous glands or the oil producing glands hyperplasia means bigger so these sebaceous glands just get bigger they bubble up usually seen in more um, mature people and again in the oilier prone areas they are cosmetic they we can treat them again pretty uh, inexpensively and pretty easily in the office they can be a little stubborn i'll be honest to treat but again any questions or things that you if you don't like them we're happy to evaluate that for you so there you have it, uh, some of the more common things that we see in the office, and I hope that helped you to determine whether or not something growing on you is uh, cosmetic, or a loved one is cosmetic or cause for concern. As always, we are always here to help you, and um, we hope to see you in the office soon. Thanks, bye. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna have to back up. <laughs> okay. Um.